Hello everybody, Nate here from the Renegades once again, doing my thing down here watching some more Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Ruin. This is going to be both part 6 and 7 in the same video because I'm just going to be honest, I, I, I just missed yesterday so <coughs> figured I'd make up for it by posting uh, both of them in the same day. So here I am. Oh, and also, um... I know that there are people out there who don't like me doing solo stuff, and, you know, that's all well and good, and that's fair, but, you know, I, I just got a question for you. I mean, why are you, why are you still here? Why, why are you still commenting on videos where it's just me and you're just trying to, I mean, is this an attention thing? Because if it's an attention thing, then congratulations? I, I guess I'm paying attention to you, but honestly, if you don't like me doing solo stuff, then why do you keep showing up? I mean, I I, I don't know what to say to that. That's just that just seem, that just sounds sad. It just sounds very sad, and I, I I don't know why you would you would resort to doing that on a regular basis when you could be going somewhere else on this platform finding other videos that interest you instead of commenting on these videos and just giving me more interaction and also helping generate more revenue so you're literally paying me because you hate me hmm I, I don't get that I, I really don't get that I mean I, I'm just here having fun I'm just here enjoying like this series and I'm enjoying uh, reacting to Markiplier, and if I'm doing it by myself or with a group, I mean, what's like? I don't understand what the ploy is, but I, I. But this is me having fun and enjoying watching watching a video. And honestly, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I I don't know what else to say. I guess. Um, <laughs> oh boy, I guess we're just gonna jump on in. Uh, we have a. Uh, we have episode 6 queued up here, and then we're going to jump right into episode 7 as soon as we're done with this one. So, uh... <clears throat> so, as Google would say, let's jump into it. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier, and welcome back to Security Breach Ruin. We are going back in brand new. We're going to see all the things that I missed. Oh, my God. I missed so much stuff. But we're also going to get absolutely everything. That's right. We're going back to the very okay. I very beginning to get every single collectible that we missed and complete all the secret objectives to get the true ending to this game, of which okay. I'm sure there is, and I will not be a sway. So we got multiple things on our list. We've got the wet floor signs because it was a bug and I wasn't able to get it because I confirmed like it confirmed with everyone else was saying that they were running into the same problem where they didn't get it on the same game and going back. Shut up, Cassie. We're about going back. Hey, come on, dude. Cassie's not doing anything. Well, I mean, she is doing something, but. Uh, Never mind. That one in the room, I was right. I did not get that one. That Gregory, was a bug. So we're there? going back to the beginning to get all of the wet floor signs because that would be more efficient, but also to get all of the other things in this game that are lurking beneath the surface. Eat your heart out, Mad Pat. I'm coming for you. Well, Damn. I'm not really. I, I already beat you there, I'm assuming. E well, yeah. I mean, Matt said it multiple times. He's just like, and it shows that because he showed in a video. He's like, yeah, people really love to see these theories about Five Nights at Freddy's. And then he pointed out how Mark's and like uh, everyone else's videos had so much more views than his. He's like, well, almost everyone. Definitely. So there's a few things that we discovered throughout our last experiences, and I won't recap everything, and I'm not going to do a full playthrough. Obviously, I'm going to jump ahead in time to get through these places, but just to recap of what we did not see. We did not see what the wet floor signs give you, and we did not see what the arcade games give you. Now, I'm not going to beat the arcade games just yet. There are going to be some things that I'm going to need to go back because 
I don't have time right now to get him, but I will do. I know there's got there, there's Monty and then there's Chica. I don't know if there's a Freddy arcade game lurking around there somewhere, but there was the hall of mm. arcade games. And also there was the overturned arcade game in Vanny's office. More likely than not, there probably is. Well, I guess there wasn't a Roxy arcade game either. I don't even remember if there was in the main game. Either way, we're going to go get the collectibles. I, don't know. I, don't I do so. have a list. I'm not pulling this all out of my head. We saw a few secrets already, but that doesn't mean that we're going to be able to just sail our way to them. But I'm going to guide you through this experience. <gasps> Uh, I'm gonna guide you through this experience and we're gonna get through here together. What happens if I go around? Done. Useless. Uh Still wish you could get the double flashlights. Okay, so the first collectible is actually something that we got before. It's right over here. Wabam. But I can't believe that I didn't get a single real world collectible until the very, very end of my official playthrough. That is so sad and extremely pathetic. But the other thing that we haven't touched on is the security camera. The thing at the end of the hallway. Yeah. When I was going through and I was looping a whole bunch. You! The first one. Okay, this is the first one. And I'm not gonna bring the game back just looking at these. Even though they very satisfying to uh deactivate. I yeah. saw this Where room that Dory was blocked at the end I saw something at the very end of the hallway it actually opened up and that means that that does apply to something and I'm almost positive that that is at the very end of the game I'm it must have something to do with that chase sequence What's at the end because be? I believe there was a room there was a room that had one door open but not all of them. So I'm thinking that if you go in here, and what I'm talking about, if you don't remember, hi, Monty, how you doing? And I know there's an arcade cabinet here, but I'll get to it in a moment. I'm pretty sure there's probably going to be something if you beat it, but I have no idea. But look at this, right here, bam. This Boom. opens, Doors door open. behind it. As I go through this, I'm gonna show you where these are, but I don't know where all of them are. I, I think I inadvertently got them last time I was doing this, but this is the first one from the very first camera system. This is part of it. And this clearly is pointed at the basement somewhere. And this clearly is something to do with the ending. Something. Something to do oh, with it. Oh, crap. I almost missed one. Okay, hold on. No! Oh, did I already? Mark, I think you messed up. Oh, you cannot be serious. Why do they do this where they just prevent you from going back? Clearly, I should be able to jump up on this and just go back. What is the point of not being able to go back? Because this is just, oh man, that one is got to be the worst to miss because it's right. I have to play from the book. I'm fine. I'm good. Yeah, that is a man. That is the face of a man who is very, very quickly descending down the pit of insanity. Y'all know about the pit of insanity, right? It's that. Uh, it's that little pit that just forms in your head. <clears throat> that forms an endless loop where you're just suffering for all eternity. And it makes you go crazy. Crazy. I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. Rats make me crazy. Crazy. I was crazy once. <laughs> <coughs> All right, here's the deal. Here's the deal. This is how smart I am. I knew that I could miss that one because I was gonna come back anyway because I was not gonna get bogged down with golf right now, even though I could, even though I could, but because I have to come back anyway and the only way to get to that one is to go back from the beginning again so I can get that other collectible. So then that's exactly what I'll do. We're gonna get to it, guys. We're gonna get to it. Don't you worry. We're gonna get to it. You know what else we're gonna get to? This. This is the <clears throat> next. Collectible. Don't matter. I'll be back. It's the floor signs we're here for. The floor signs we're gonna get. Hey, I didn't know if you knew about this, but if you don't get the dude, this happens. Bye. Oh. And then you go up top. 
Gregory, you're really good at talking uh, in multiple voices all at the same time. It's quite a skill you got there. How? That's a skill. Good thing I got all of them. <laughs> and that I don't have to worry about missing any. <laughs> I sure hope that the secret ending or whatever the true ending is, it doesn't rely on me having all those. <laughs> that would be a shame. Uh... Now comes a real test. If this thing's deactivated when I get into this next area, I'm gonna be extremely pissed. I'll be unbelievable chaos. Next one's back here. Doodly 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 yay. Weedly doodly doodly. Yippee! Good thing I've gotten everything and I haven't missed it. Yes. Yeah. There you are. There you are. Hi! <coughs> How are you doing, buddy? Oh, good to see you. Oh, were you were you preemptively deactivated? Oh, were you just were you just trying to pretend to be deactivated to not allow me to enter this tube and then deactivate yes. you? Oh, were you missing out yeah. because actually it was me that was going to deactivate. Anyway, it's time to go to bed now. Yeah, scream. What? Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't get out. What, what do, uh, uh, don't kill me. Do not, don't, 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 don't. I gotta get this collectible and then I gotta get out of here. Stop. Hammer time. <sighs> All right. We did it. Good for us. Well, that's a proof of concept because now I know that I can go through this game and do everything else and I can get all of the floor signs and I haven't missed any because I know I missed one. Did you? Did you really, Mark? Did I get the one behind the forklift? I definitely... I definitely got it, right? I wouldn't have not gotten it. Next one's back here. Doodly 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 yay. Yippee! Good thing I've gotten it. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I got it. <coughs> I got it. I got it. Definitely. No. You, know, you don't even need to say it. You don't need to say it. Nobody needs to say anything about whether I got it or not. No one needs to say a thing because I know I got it because I would have gotten it. I remember getting it and I'm not confusing these memories of me getting it with anything else of me not getting it. Oh, Mark, you're in for a rude awakening. I'm sorry, brother. Therefore, I can go forward with confidence that I got it, which I did. Not. Oh, whoop. That was the first real uh, second. It was the second one. Mm hmm. And I slipped. Gotta be careful. Ooh, boba. Oh, boba. Oh, boba. Hey, look at that. Ain't that cool? That's real cool. Isn't that the ending? Wait, that's one of the endings. Yeah, that's Gregory escapes and Vanny finds it. Uh, yeah, that's one of the endings. Hey, look at that. Hmm. Interesting. Ain't that cool? That's real cool. There it is. There's another one. Right there. Boom. Open. I think it's a series of doors that just continue down until something at the end is open. Because I think when I was doing the uh, looking for the wet floor signs, I <coughs> think I opened them. I think I saw what's at the end. And what's at the end must be something that changes the end of the game. Maybe. We got everything here. We got everything in the last one. Which means that we're good to go. Okay, supposedly... Ah, wow, that is right there. Wow, that is right there. Huh. Oh, wow, a comic page. How many of those do I have now? I've got two. Scary. Five. And then seven. Should be an artist when he grows up. Should be, should be. So now we get to do something that is important, apparently. We go in here. We... What's that be something to do with... Oh. 
No, it's not. You remember this? Just you remember this? Yeah. Stupid well, this thing. exists. Yeah. We're gonna beat it. We're gonna do whatever it takes to beat it. All right, almost there, almost there. It's gotta, uh, it's gonna pop any minute now. There we go. Way! Yeah! I did it. I made the best. Okay. Thought the game was broke I'm there for a second. Best. Uh, I'm a the best. I'm the best. Oh, okay. I was what about to say. Voice box. I was about to say if I didn't actually get that. Hey, I got Chica's voice box. Okay, so huh. that's nice. Um, so when I know exactly when. There's another part in Rocky. Wait, 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 wait. Is that when Chica's like like goes into the that bathroom and is just like laying against the wall, looking all dis disheveled and and kills you that one time? Is that what that? He's raceway, not racers. That. Chica just goes and lays down in the bathroom for some reason. And yes. I thought that was peculiar because I died to her when that occurred. But I didn't know why. I didn't know why it was happening. I bet that's when I use it. Okay, hold on. I should have gotten this before, but there's actually a real present right behind that one node. It's amazing how these real ones were like right in front of my eyes they weren't even that well hidden this one even has a light on it and yet because i didn't know what i was looking for i didn't know i could even get them mm. i didn't even know it was a thing i didn't even know it was a possibility but alas please don't kill me please don't kill me oh boy i would love to take this off also was there a zoom out on that one i think there might have been i have no idea i'm gonna die I honestly, this is for the best because I think there might have been a zoom there. Hello. It's the weird bag of trash. That's what's strange about it. Trash. I don't sack. like that. Left sack. There was. There was a zoom out there. Ah. I'm glad that I looked for that because, wow. Oh. I think I'm in trouble. Oh, yep. wait, but I. I. Oh. Bud, bud, bud. Oh. Oh. So I gotta make sure I zoom out on the thing again. I can't forget that. That actually is a thing. I didn't do the zoom out. Ah, frick. The one thing I said to do. God. Frick. God, the one thing I said to do. Don't tell me you're already past it. You're already past it, aren't you? Ah! Oh, God, I said make sure to do the... Oh, and then I didn't do it. Just another thing I'll go back and do, so long as I can actually remember all the things that I didn't do, because my flawless performance, I needed to add a little drama into this. That's what it is. I'm just really trying to milk this <laughs> content, so I'm trying to stretch it out. I'm intentionally doing it, so you can all be very old. I know he's better than that, when in actuality, I am better than that. I hate... It's fine. I'll just come back. Again. Anyway, we have something else important to know about this, which is the voice box. Prepare voice Am box. Am I really doing this? I don't know. Uh, Apparently. I mean... Ew. Gross. Ah, get in there, Cassie. You can do it. That should do it. I smell pizza. That's it. Okay. I That's did it. that. And I'm okay. sure that has some kind of a repercussion down the road. I just don't know what that is. Don't okay, know. Shockingly, we're almost there. I definitely got all of them. I definitely didn't miss any. I wonder if there's something to do with this, too, because it is strange that you can go through this whole thing and get to the front of the line here, and yet it's closed. One thing I'll say about this, and I don't know where people are at in terms of digging mm. up all the secrets, there is a difference here. This staff bot is red. Now, I've never seen a red staff bot before. Maybe I have, but this staff bot is red. I don't know mm. what that means. <laughs> you know, um, this is very funny. I didn't get it at first, but don't lose your head in it's Freddy. 
<laughs> okay, around the corner to the left. Oh, nope, not there. But what about over here? Ah, that seems so obvious now. That seems so obvious. Why is Freddy so worried? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's still the bug problem of dying here because you're still there. Okay, goodbye. How do people not find that in playtesting? That's what I want to know. I mean, I know that like things get overlooked all the time. There's always going to be some bugs, but I'm like, how did that? How that get? How that get by? So mm -hmm. apparently, my God! <coughs> how did I miss that? How? I don't understand. Uh, I got this before. This is comic page one, which is great. Good to know. And then there's another fun room. I don't know if I showed you guys this one, but uh, this one's fun. What? What? Wait, is that? Uh, very fun. That... Great stuff. Was that Thank circus, you baby? for the nightmares. All right, guys. Um, it's moment of truth of uh, whether or not I actually got that one all the way in chapter two or not behind the forklift. Um, it didn't. would be really something if I didn't. You know what I mean? It would be really something. You didn't. But uh, here's the moment. You know, I got Golden Bonnie right here. That's that's scary. Why do you like uh, not like that? Oh, you're just pizza. All right. Pizza. Yeah, it would be really something if I didn't get that one because it was literally mm -hmm. right then and there. And if I didn't get it, it would have been just like right in front of my face. You didn't get it, Mark. I hate to say it, but. This is hell. This is hell, Mark. And it's okay. You did nothing wrong. You're all good. I... You missed your mark. I guess you could say you missed your mark. <laughs> All right, you know what my favorite chapter is? Chapter two, I just really feel like playing that one again. I'm just like, yeah. Oh, right, yeah, because I missed a collectible in chapter one. Just go ahead and go all the way back. For. That's not what I'm here for. That's not what I'm here for. I gotta go chapter two. I'm <laughs> If I get in there and the one behind the thing is deactivated, ooh, it's gonna be a bad time. Oh boy. So, it time to go back to the beginning. Time to go back, excuse me, back to the beginning. If this one, if I did get this <coughs> one, if you had just got which that one, one Mark. did I not get? Oh my god. I went through the whole game to make sure that I got every one of them. Which one did I miss? That so one, Mark. Dumb. 
this is so dumb. Why do I have to do this again? Why is this my life? I could go back to chapter five, double check that I got things there. Mark, just restart, like, bro. You get, I got both the ones at the staircases. I could go back and look at the camera again, because I missed that. Uh, I don't want to do this again. There. Now that's open. There's one more door back there, so there must be something else to get. Okay, I got both of those. Did I not get the one in the bathroom over there? There's one in the bathroom to the right here. I know I died a few times, but did I get a mix-up? Oh, I don't think I got anything mixed up. Those two are both deactivated over there. That's deactivated. I really don't know where this would be. Well, you know, I gotta go back to chapter one anyway to get that other thing that I got, so I might as well just go back to chapter one. Go ahead, Mark. Do that again. It's right here. <laughs> the only one I'm checking here is number two, the second of the the web floor signs, because. I do see a world where I was so confident in that other section What's that I just blasted right by it for some reason. Not sure why. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. So we repeat encounters count, apparently, because that looks open. That looks open as hell. Okay, so that that's definitely open. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna beat the golf game right now. I'll come back for that. I know I said I was gonna come back for it then, but I meant, I meant later. I meant later. I meant later. I meant much later. Nope, this one is done too. Great. I did that. I did all of these. That's the thing. I did all of these. I made sure I've been doing them so many times that I wouldn't have missed any. These are deactivated. All these are deactivated. Every single one of these is deactivated. <sighs> Man, I can't believe I'm saying this, but the only one that I could have possibly missed would have been chapter two by that arcade. But the thing is, if I did miss it, that is the one that bugs out. So if I go in there and it's deactivated, I'm not really gonna know if it's bugged or not. And then what, I have to go through the whole thing again? I was so sure that it was the one behind the forklift that I didn't get, but I swear if it's down to that same one again, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I legitimately don't know what I'm gonna do because I've done this so many times and literally when I was there, I deactivated it unless I got jump scared to the point where I let go of the button and then assumed that it was all good. I could see that happening, but also I'd be real upset about it. No, it's not because I did get it. God, then which one is it? When am I gonna not waste my time? I've. Restart the game, Mark. Done them all. I've... You did not get the one behind the forklift. I've done them all. There isn't one that I've missed. But you know what? I got a good feeling that I know how to make this a reality. All right, so I gotta, I gotta admit something to you guys. This was a joint effort to get here. I had to pull in all the best favors that I could. And everyone flocked, of course, because they were like, we want to help you get this. Obviously, your game is bugged and you would have you would have gotten world first about this. But, you know, I had to do this. So it, it's actually uh, me and Daco. We got together. We figured it out. We hacked the game code together. 50 50. It was mostly me. But we together mm -hmm. came together and we're here ready live to bring you this live reaction of what the wet floor signs are gonna bring. We're just looking for the pack pats everywhere. Stop all right. Effort in uh, collecting all the pack pats. Glamrock Bonnie 
is behind this wall, guys. And what's supposed to happen when you collect all the pat pats is that a pat pat should be here, the last one that you deactivate. And then this area here opens up to go and see Glamrock Bonnie. But unfortunately, there's a bug right now where the last pat pat doesn't spawn here. Okay, guys, so let's pretend that we did deactivate the pat pat there. And we're going through where it opens up. Yeah. This is where so, you walk through. Yeah, this is us walking through. through. Uh, my hacks, guys. Steer Wolf, thank you so much for doing this. It's absolutely insane. He likes to call me by weird names sometimes. And there he is, guys. There he is. Rob Bonnie in the flesh. Oh! Here, guys. And here we go, guys. We're in. This We're is in, nuts. Baby. We're oh, in. It's so cool. This is Such so a cool. cool. Egg, man. I there know. Is, guys, the official animatronic of Garbrock Body. He looks so cool. He looks like he's dead. It literally is a murder scene, by the way. We'll talk yeah. about it in a minute. Yeah. We'll talk about Pat Pat's, our theory about the Pat Pat's and why. Yeah, I don't know why you call it a Pat Pat. This is where Glamrock Bonnie got murdered by Monty. Now, yeah, I he got remember murdered. Back in the day of Security Breach, everybody was saying, please, 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 can we see Glamrock Bonnie? I remember saying it at least twice like DLC or anything or the next yeah. game please can we see Glamrock Bonnie yeah he's quoting me and as soon as Ruin got revealed everybody was saying that like, we really hope to see Glamrock Bonnie at some I know point. I was telling you that I was ready to see it, it. made it oh. a really cool easter egg <coughs> all the cleaning bots throughout the game eventually uh, leads you to this scene of yeah. Glamrock Bonnie's yeah, murder, it does. where Glamrock Bonnie is being hidden does, this whole yeah. time all of these pat pats are here surrounding him and if you look closely uh -huh. Glamrock Bonnie's eyes are active right Right now, they the are as they the are pats. active same now, similar color now look what happens when we deactivate him yeah so the yeah this happens deactivating noise and glamrock body's eyes have been shut off exactly people were believing the Monty Ride story of Glamrock Bonnie giving Monty his guitar, you know, passing the guitar to Monty for him to be in the band. Uh -huh. That's bull crap, guys. That's just a story. It's bull crap. It's just a story. Dawn. Monty murdered a Bonnie. Story about Monty destroying Glamrock Bonnie. Exactly. We're not going to do that. That's just yeah. a made up story. It's made That's up, guys. Made up. Story made up. Made up. Made Entertainment just yeah. to, to explain what happened with Glamrock Bonnie. Glamrock Bonnie's left the band, passed the I torch know. to Monty to be the performer. Never. It's happened bull crap, guys. it's so bullcrap don't, believe, that. don't believe it that's scott's lies a, a, a strange detail of this so it looks yeah. like monty has shoved bonnie onto the wall yeah ripped his stomach open you can see monty's claw here fully ripped his stomach open right and that's not the worst part about it you can see here there's a split bowling ball what uh -huh. monty's done is ripped bonnie apart maybe right? And finish what I think happened smashing a bowling ball onto his head what I think happened to think about uh, is... that, that happened okay Glam Darko I'd like to speak this is supposed to be a duo thing here you know 50 50 and you're not really doing 50 so here's what I think actually happened is Bonnie was practicing some sick bowling tricks he was flinging a bowling ball it bounced off the wall hence the crack hit him right in the face and then exploded Loaded into shrapnel, tearing his in insides apart. And so what happened was there was so much blood that when Monty arrived on the scene, his hair actually wasn't red before that. It's a glamour what it was, uh, Doc, oh, please, anyway, please, it's please. Funny. It's my turn to talk. More like taco, am I right? <laughs> when Monty arrived, his hair wasn't actually red. He slipped and fell in the blood of Bonnie's blood. And he was like, Aah! and he was so freaked out by it. He was, but then he remembered safety first, pl placed all the wet floor signs, not pot pots, pat, pat, British. So there was so much blood. He was so responsible. British. He kept it from all of the other members of the bands who would have been devastated because it was performance night. And if it was performance night and they found out that Bonnie died, they never would have been able to do a show. You know, the show must go on. And Monty was a hero. He placed the signs and then placed them throughout the whole thing, leveling up the standard of safety of the entire mega pizza plex and therefore he's actually the hero bonnie it was just clumsy anyway and then we killed him and then we murdered him because that was very clear his lights were on and then they're off and we did that so we murdered him that's the moral of the story all right now you can finish it up doctor really long time the next question is why are the pat pats here 
And why did Glamrock Bonnie have the glowing eyes? I, listen, I just explained this to you. You're really good at freezing your face like that, but I just explained this to you. If you're just gonna ignore me, then I'm not gonna do these co-streams with you anymore, okay? With the pat pats, and as soon as we deactivated them all, why did Glamrock Bonnie shut down? I, I told you, they, we killed them. How, how more clear can I make this? You know, I'm not, I'm gonna stop collabing with you if you keep shutting down my opinions like this. It's just, it's not respect. Do you know about respect? Because I know about respect. It's a word, okay? Look it up. Bonnie was using his last amount of energy, the last source of power in his system to, to reach out to the Pat Pats as a distress signal for help. The other option is that the Pat Pats knew about Glamrock Bonnie, and that's why they're here. They're trying to clean up the mess or alert the staff about this incident, what's happened, because nobody works here anymore. No, nobody's found this out. There you go, guys. Glamrock. All right. So, yeah, that's a really good theory. Yeah, really believable. Uh, except Monty has red hair. Blood, slippery, I should know. Look, just shout out my channel and just let's go. Come on, let's just wrap it up, man. It was all Monty. Monty was jealous because he was in his one-man band. He was on his own. He was Or on Monty his own was the hero. Band. Monty might have been the he hero. Wanted That's also the equally band. valid. He, so, he wanted to join the band because he was talented. He he's got a mind of his own. We know he's, he's aggressive and yeah, jealous exactly. and emotional. Well, Kills we are who we are because of our programming, you know, but there's nature he's versus nurture, right. so. And now he's part of the band. Oh, yeah, he is part of the band. That's kind of important to remember. To use the it's not like the other members aren't aggressive. Distress call. Yeah, to distress call. Use, yeah, oh sure. Use the possessed children inside of all the pat pats to be able to send a distress call. That's not. That's not messed up. That's not crazy. But that's what I think. And that's what what you think. Uh huh. Oh no, Mark. It's not what. It's not what he thinks. It's what he thinks. It's what I think. Yeah, his eyes were yellow, you know, kind of like uh, demons. I really do wish that we actually spoke to Glamrock Bonnie. At yeah, wouldn't that be great? Why don't you break out your Ouija board? Because he's dead, because we killed him. He's communing with the, the wet floor signs. Maybe he could communicate with us before we smashed the bowling ball into his soul. To get ready. All right, okay, well, hold on. And I'll see you all next time. All right, hold on, everyone. Is it... All right, well, okay, all right, you know what? Hey. You know what? If he's not going to shout out my channel, I'm not going to shout out his channel either. This is ridiculous. We found this together. We found this together, and you're just going to hog all the credit? You're going to take all the credit for that? That's my theory. My theory is the valid theory. Matt Pat can suck an egg. He doesn't know anything about Five Nights at Freddy's because I don't know whatever he knows, but I know that he doesn't know <laughs> the right things because that's what everyone else says. And what I say goes with what everyone else says goes. <coughs> and what I say is that Monty is a saint and you guys should respect the name. And I think Glamrock Bonnie was ready to kill again. And I say again, and <laughs> you better believe me, I know it's again. So it's a good thing he was put down before it got a little out of hand. Anyway, so that's that. That's where all that led. Few bugs. But then again, that's what I do. I find the bugs. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to see where those security cameras lead, and then we're going to get to the bottom of this. Me. I say we, I mean me. I'm going to get to the bottom of this, because nobody else can be trusted to do so. All right. Thanks again. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Okay. Now we move on to part seven. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Blair, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Ruin. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be getting whatever this thing is with the doors. Damn it. Mm, keep forgetting about that. Come on. There we go. There's there's been doors and security cameras. I opened every single one of them that I saw, and even going mm -hmm. through this whole game again and checking all the cameras, I saw that there were more than there were before. Now, also, I need to make sure that I still get all the collectibles because I've collected all the collectibles and pretty much everything, and I just need to make sure that I actually have them. Speaking of, I need to pull that up. Not distractible, no. Not distractable, my podcast with Bob and Wade that if you haven't heard of it, you should check it out. Yeah. Yeah. You should go check it out on Spotify. You should go check it out on, uh, you know, on the various uh, platforms. Link in the description below. Oh, there is a collectible <coughs> that requires. Okay. Oh boy. 
Okay, so I would literally have to activate external cheats to be able to get no clip. Uh, so I won't hold myself to that standard. So there's one collectible that I didn't get, but it's bugged and it's not my fault. So, uh, not my problem anyway. Time to go through this. Doesn't this look extremely like in space with Markiplier? It looks like, it looks like, you know, Mark, come on. If you don't know what I'm talking about, boy, have you missed out. Did you know I'm making an Iron Lung movie? <laughs> New trailer soon. Ah! Ah, right here. Uh oh. Oh, boy. Ah, there's another one right there. Wow, that is, that is right there. That is. Yes, it is. And there's another fast token. That's the that's other two. fast that's token. Two. Okay, so that's good. There it is. And I think this is the last one of these types to get up here besides fast tokens and the comic book page downstairs. And I'm really hoping I won't have to backtrack anything for the cameras because I saw, I saw it open with no door beyond it. Oh, Roxy. no! Cassie. Cassie. Welcome back, Cassie. Interesting that there's a plushie here. What are you doing? Don't worry. This won't have any actual lasting repercussions. Okay. So before I do Candy Cadet, I know I have the tokens, but there's one more token to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hush, 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 hush. So I need to go get the last token because I have... I have six, and there's one more down here, so I'm gonna go get it and then come back. Oh, Why are there, there burners it is. everywhere? It's like the inside of an oven. Oh, by the way, when I made the joke about that one, uh, like I think it was like uh, last part, y'all y'all told me it was okay. Also, y'all said I was somebody else said I was going to hell, which. Hmm. All right, so that is all of the tokens. So now I can hear the full story, and that means you can too. Now I will tell you a story. Okay. There was a monster in the woods, but the mother caught it and kept it locked in the basement. The monster always made scary noises at night, but the mother would tell the boy not because it could never get out. Then she would sing the boy a lullaby to sleep. One day, the monster stopped crawling and instead listened and learned the lullaby. Smart monster. The next day, when my mother went out to find food, the monster sang the lullaby from the basement. The little boy heard the lullaby and opened the door. <laughs> Oh, is that the end of the story? So I got... I got all these tokens for nothing and I could have heard the full story, but... Then what was the point of all the tokens? Take my tokens! God damn it, of course it is. All right, fine. There's another thing over here, right here. The last comic book page. And I think that, minus the one collectible that's there when you get all the other stuff, is everything. So I can read this comic in full. Wow, look, Gregory's running away from something. Gregory is hiding from something. Gregory is talking to Freddy, something. Oh, wow. Must have seen this mask before. Always so creative. Then they're friends forever. And then uh, Vanny gets uh, Shreked. And then Springtrap gets Shreked. Uh, well, that's cool and all, but... um. Oh, I still have to take his voice box. Well, anyway, so I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that I got all the doors unlocked. However, I still technically have Chica's voice box. I'm not sure why, but I have it. But I think I got what I needed. Pretty sure anyway. So let's give it a try. Turn off the Mexus. Yep. Bye, Mexus.
Hey, Greg. All right, let's see if this worked. I have a funny feeling it won't. You saved me. Because that's how it goes. I, I'm Gregory. Hi. You're not Gregory. You don't know that. What are you? I, I'm Gregory. Looks different. Whoa! Get out of here! Run! Whoa, that's different. It looks different this time. What's it wearing? Nancy, can you hear me? Gregory? Is that really you? I mean, really you. I've been trying to reach you all night. I'm not at the pizza place. Something's trying to trick you. You're a bit late. Thing in the basement sounds just like you. How do I know this is you for real? Is there another option? You need to get out of there now. How? I burned his access to the building maps. Just follow the instructions. What? What are you wearing? Why are you different? Why? Bye. Why? I don't know. It's Why are you different? That doesn't make any sense. I think it's because you opened up all the doors. Maybe when you opened up all the doors, that's what caused the that's what caused it to look that way. I was just a tall robot before, but that's something else. Okay. Well anyway, I'll run now. Running, 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 running. So I can't remember where the door was, but I think it was up ahead here. And I'm guessing maybe different costume because I did something right? Maybe? Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, I can't see anything. I'm trying. I know. So, yeah. Okay, so this should be open. It is? All the way, all the way to the back. Okay, that's good to know. So I wasn't crazy, and I don't have to go back and do anything over again. Whoa. Yeah, take a door, idiot. Uh, am I supposed to be doing something? I am really, I'm really floundering on this one. Um. Ah, uh, frick. Huh? Not yet. Wait. Whoa. Hi. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait, is that the is that the scooper? Oh. Damn. Is that is that the end? What? So the mimic just got scooped. Scoop. Damn. So, for some reason, the enemy was in a costume now that I did all of the things to do it, but I, when I didn't do it before, it was not in a costume, and it was just a tall Slenderman-style robot. And so, it killed it. The machine. And then Gregory didn't send me plummeting to my death, which was very weird. Like I get the whole thing where I was being misled by fake Gregory the whole time. But in this case, Gregory just decided that I deserved to die. 
which is a bold thing for a child to decide, but there you have it. So the moral of the story is the true evil was inside whatever costume that was all along, just like Vanny. And that's why the true ending was Vanny being disassembled by staff bots. And just in that way, the staff claw did that. Hey, that guy. GJ Sturf and nobody else. Okay. I know. Wait, why didn't I get in? Wait, why didn't I get the one in nine? Ah, whatever, it don't matter. Okay, so that is Security Beach Ruin. Security now, Unless beach. I'm missing anything, and I don't Security. think I have, I've seen everything that there is for this DLC to offer. And I'd say for free DLC, which if you didn't know this DLC was free if you own Security Breach, that was pretty good. I think that the developers really wanted to show that they could make a cohesive, scary experience, even if it was extremely linear, but I think like making it linear and super linear was the best chance they had to get it out quickly. And I'm like, go for it. That's great. You just iterate upon the designs you already had, the level designs, and you just like modify some assets. You make some new animations. It's still a lot of work, but it's a lot better than trying to like mm -hmm. fix the open world situation that was happening before. Not that they haven't done some improvements. I know that there's been quite a few patches since the last time that I played that I have fixed things in Security Breach, and I do applaud them for that. I think this was a fantastic DLC minus the bugs of finding secret stuff, but that wasn't part of the main experience. Anyway, anyway, good stuff. It is good to come back here. And I know it was really fun to meme on Security Breach when it first came out, but I wasn't joking when I said I thought positively of it after I was done playing it. It was aggravating at times, but it had charm. And I think that's why it's memorable is because the people that are playing it, they can overlook the bugs because so much love is clearly woven into the game at every level. Yeah. There's so much detail put into this game, almost too much detail to the detriment, mm. but because the love was there, it's just like, you know, cooking and you can't have a good meal without love baked into it. There was clearly love and love for the franchise and love for Five Nights at Freddy's in general. And, yes. and I think like that really showed, and that's what made it charming. It made choices and sometimes the choices could be debated whether they were good or not, but that doesn't change the fact that there was still so much to see and you could, you could practically smell the detail, but into the game and that you know that takes a lot of work and that takes a lot of dedication and it takes a team that actually really cares about it so i'd say this is good security breach when it came out it was flawed but it was a flawed gem you know it wasn't a turd that you polished it was a gem that fell in the turd you know and you had to dust it off a little bit ruin embraces a turd this analogy falls apart a little bit but it was good so thank you everybody so much for watching maybe someday i'll go back and try to get some security breach secrets that i didn't get before um but i think that ship has sailed and that time has passed and this was good to play i hear there's another vr version coming out soon made by this same team and if i remember help wanted was pretty cool so I'll try yeah. it. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Check out the other scary games that I've done. Check out Distractable. Go, my favorite sports team with Bob Wade and Tyler, respectively. Check out anything else that I'm doing. I'm doing a whole lot these days. And I have a movie that's going to be coming out real soon. Thank you. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Yeah, again, that looks like the scooper... It looks like it looks like a new version of the scooper or something like that. I'm not sure what the hell that is, but I mean, damn. There's a lot, dude. There's a lot to unpack with what's going on. I'm, and I know that some of you have asked me to watch the game theories that Matt Pat has put out about security breach. And, uh, you know, like, Security Breach Ruin, it's like, I, and yeah, I might, I might watch those because, honestly, I, I enjoy these, I enjoy Five Nights at Freddy's content, I mean, you know, and I know that a lot of people want to see what I think about, uh, <sighs> sorry, it's starting to get a little late, but a lot of y'all want to know what I think about, you know, Security Breach and Ruin and all that. And here's what I'll say. These are imperfect games. 
but I'll be damned if there is not heart behind them. And Steel Wool, I think they're still getting their legs about them uh, when it comes to, uh, for instance, hold on, let's see. Steel Wool. Yeah, here we go. Steel Wool Studios and Lionsgate Games. So, <laughs> I, I love I love the fact that this is that this is a uh, you know reached such a, a big audience and I'm glad that I'm glad that Steel Wool seems to be uh, wait what's this oh okay never mind I I'm stupid so I'm looking on here I'm looking at all the all the stuff that they have on here. So Steel Wool, they did the, uh, they spearheaded most of the development when it comes to the, uh, when it comes to security breach for his help wanted. They had help of Lionsgate games. So sorry about that. I had a little confusion there. But yeah, Steel Wool Studios. Uh, they're, I mean, so far they're doing pretty good with the Five Nights at Freddy's series, and I know that they're working on Help Wanted too. So. That's, uh, let's see. Hmm. When does that come out? Let's see. Games. Help Wanted 2 comes out later. Yeah, comes out later this year. Hmm. Let's see. I wonder if they're, I, because... Whenever it came to uh, whenever it came to doing uh, stuff for for help wanted, uh, they like, they teased a lot of stuff that was going to lead into the next games, and I don't know I don't know what like what the heck they're gonna do, but I guess we'll see. Either way, it's starting. It's already two in the morning. I need to go upstairs, upload a few things, and then I am going to go to bed because I am tired. And uh, I think that's going to do it, everybody. So uh, thank you all very much for tuning in. This, once again, was Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Ruin Part 7 by Markiplier. Feel free to go over to Mark's video and check out uh, the originals. And also feel free to check out Markiplier's channel and support him whenever, uh, whenever um, Iron Lung comes out. But for right now, that's going to do it. So until next time, I am Nate. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.